I'm just gonna um, be driving. So I'm not gonna look at the chat, obviously. It's like really late, so I don't expect there to be too many people awake right now, but anyway. Yeah, I don't know who's in here yet or not, but <laughs> hello. I um I don't know if I have signal even. Um so I can't look at the chat, so I don't know who's here, but hello. Probably nobody gives a fuck about me anymore. I decided like <laughs> Like, what? Why, why am I at home right now? Like, really? I'm like, why am I at home? So, I got a text message from... I basically blew off Bizu. And then I told him, like, I told him, I'm just like, I just need more time, things are comp... Blah, 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 blah. After blowing this guy off... He still fucking messages me after saying, okay, have a good night. And I, I've blown him off more than once. Like, after blowing me off, this guy messages me. I just want you to know, uh, I want you to have a good night. I've met this guy once and he's wished me good night. More times than Nader El Shami has ever fucking wished me good night in my life. In a year. <clears throat> Not only that, no good night ever. No good night. And not only that, somebody who was supposed to care and love me is at a fucking nightclub with another woman. I don't know if you're like, yeah. So you guys are, you know what? I'm delusional. This was never a relationship. So stop fucking trying to, what do you like? Don't confuse me then with your shit. Anyway, I'm not talking about him. This is not about him. This is about why I'm, so I'm like at home right now. Like, no, you need to get your ass when he messaged me. And I'm like, I want to see you. That's it. Right away. I want to see you, this guy five minutes I'll meet you wherever you want to meet me because I'm not ready to have him at my house even whenever I try to bring up having him at my house like just seeing the difference in like how a proper person treats a woman like when they're supposedly interested in you versus like I'm just like I'm actually fucking happy I'm actually seeing this guy because he's showing me how a real person treats a woman actually Oh yeah, I'm sure you're getting the real royal treatment right now, Dee Dee. Like, probably getting he's probably getting a blowjob in the fucking bar bathroom by another woman. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm a little bitter. So anyways, I just I realize like this guy, like just no like I feel so no pressure. Like I don't feel any pressure. Like like I would even bring up like, okay, I'm gonna have you over next week. And he'd be like, just the have me over is going to happen when you are really ready. And he took my hand and he's like, I don't pressure women into doing anything they don't want to do. And I was like, are you like, like, did my, like, who sent you? Like, what? This is like a fucking, this is a complete juxtaposition to what I'm going through. Like, huh? I don't get it. I just don't get it. I'm so like, so we, we, yeah, I won't say, I, I don't want to kiss and tell, but yes, it, he's a good kisser and I made the fuck out with him and, oh, I really like him. I really, really like him. I do. I, do. I like him. And since I like him, you're going to lose me forever. So you know what? Yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to be home soon. I just went up the street. Like, we both live in Orleans, actually, so... I'm not going to dox him, obviously. We're going to call him Bizu. I'm not going to... I don't even really talk about... Like, I talk a bit about my channel, but I don't really talk much about it. We just talked about very... Just stuff. Like, getting to know each other more. He's like, 
I'm totally cool with just meeting up here several times until you're ready. I, I, I can't, like, I, I just, I don't think, I feel like, I don't know. I'm looking forward to, like, a night. I think next week I want to make Corona Sunrises. If you guys don't know what those are, you have to wait and see. I've seen this at, um, i seen this online, like a Corona Sunrise. If you know what a tequila sunrise is. And I want to make crab alfredo with him and have a really 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 good night Exit the roundabout onto Sean. anyways i went looking like this i'm like i have no hair <laughs> like we can shave each other's eyes. i'm like that doesn't bother you no he really really is into me like i i feel right good i don't know he's like a bb number he's like he's like a bb type of boyfriend material for sure I can sense it and I don't know I just I like meeting I just I feel good I'm, I'm glad I went I'm glad I went because I was at home all pissed off that Nader was at the club with Didi because for me okay you guys don't know shit that's going on behind the scenes because we agreed Nader I Nader and I if we're gonna ha we were gonna have some kind of relationship at all it's gonna be offline so like things that we talk about arrangements we made it's all looking to him like he's trying to keep things under wraps and everything for now we're gonna go slow and slowly introduce you know like just go slow so <clears throat> but what was i getting at anyways welcome home welcome home i love that welcome home fuck yeah i need that welcome home what was i saying I'm, oh my god okay so what was i saying <laughs> I'm supposed to message him and tell him I got home okay. Anyway, I have, I'm like, I have this makeup on, don't mind me. But anyway, I just brought some ice water and that's it. Let me turn my car off. Boy seems genuine. And he felt my pants. <laughs> no, just like in a parking lot at like, there's like a bowling alley kind of thing. But there were, we've seen a huge fox, a raccoon, and a cat. Ow. Someone's excited. <laughs> yeah, the same parking lot as before, yeah. He's like, if you just want to meet up here for a few times, and... He makes me feel really good, like, really comfortable and at ease, and, like, not rushed and not pressured to, like... <clears throat> do sexual things i always feel as i always feel that pressure i don't know I and mean, you shouldn't it's wrong you should if you if you don't want to you shouldn't have to feel that way why are you 38 and always meeting up in parking lots well i don't know i mean we could go on a date i guess i'm not really a date person i mean there's time for that anyway we're just meeting up right now just talking but yeah we could meet up at you know what Misha, I could, I'm sure I could suggest like at a cafe or go somewhere for a drink. He would totally want to. Let him take you to a restaurant for fuck's sake. <laughs> no, I'm not high at all. Did I even smoke today? Barely. Like earlier. My packs. <clears throat> so I'm so used to you lying, but if this is real, congrats. You guys don't believe me that it's real? Well... I'm sure you'll if things go well I'm sure someday you'll I mean you'll have to hear of him in the background or something I mean we'll see what happens I don't know well how long am I supposed to wait I don't know maybe I should call the police station and be like hi I'm a smoker and I just want to know how long I have to wait in between smoking and driving no I'm serious I want to know how am I at Natters? I was just like, it take it would take me for like four hours to drive. And I was just playing Mario and Kiwi Farms can prove that. You're mad, Didi, you got her glake. <laughs> yes, I am. Sorry, but when I'm in a relationship with somebody, like when I was in a relationship with Bibi, the respectful thing to do when you're trying to make something work with somebody or even when you're with somebody is, hey, honey. Um, do you mind if I go out tonight to a club, a nightclub with a random fucking woman? Not a random woman, but I mean, all right. Would you want your boyfriend going to club with Didi? He lives with her. 
And they sleep in the purple bed naked together. So don't tell me that you're not with her. Because yes, he does. And he says it online too. He swore he's never slept with Dee Dee. But like Elle says, people lie. Dee Dee is a queen. <laughs> Shut up. I would want my boyfriend to claim me. Very exactly. I'm not settling for any fucking asshole anymore. No. 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 I don't know polyamorous because I'm fucking dumb as shit. <laughs> I don't have any PayPal money. Did you say good night, ho? Screw you guys. Oh shit. Screw you guys and get him. Oh. <sighs> Welcome home. I love that. I live for that. <laughs> as soon as PayPal scam is mentioned, she's ready for bed. I scammed you out of thousands of dollars. What do you think? Like <laughs> you requested a thousand on PayPal? You're not getting a thousand dollars, you fucking <laughs> Keep dreaming in Technicolor. So anyways, I messaged him and flipped out and told him he's a piece of shit. I can talk to you, but don't ever ask me to be your girlfriend. Because it just won't happen. I'm delusional. Oh no, the fire alarm is fucked again. Shut up, PG! I'm going upstairs. I can't do these stairs right now. <laughs> I lost it anyway. I'm like, I fucking hate you for playing me. I fucking hate you. You're a piece of shit. That's what I always do. No, I was like, good night, I guess. Like, you supposedly love me, but you don't even say good night. You know, means you're not thinking about me. It means you're too busy with Didi. So I wrote, okay. Then I tried calling him, and then nothing. So then I said, okay, so I, I guess you're too busy railing Dee Dee. And then I just lost it on him. And I'm, I'm so done losing it on him. I'm so beyond done. Like, even this slip up was unnecessary. Unfucking necessary. Because he fucking fucks with my brain. He fucks with my emotions. He's a, oh. It's never, it can never, like, no. I really, seriously, didn't think that I gave two fucks anymore. Apparently. Yeah, he definitely gives zero fucks, and he can keep giving zero fucks. And I will just keep giving. I'm just not going to care anymore. Honestly, like, tomorrow night, I need to go hang out with this guy again tomorrow night. Because, I'm just taking my makeup off. Every time I hang out with him, the more I forget about Natter, so... And the more I think of how stupid it is for me to think that he would be loyal living with another woman. It was really fun. It was nice. Maybe tomorrow night too. I think I should go every night and then have him over. Have him over maybe on the weekend or something. I don't know. I think that will be fun. I know, I didn't do the pictures. I'm gonna do them tomorrow. I'm gonna dress up tomorrow again. And I look like Uncle Fester right now. I know he's not homeless and he has a really good job. Well, a good job. And he knows what I do. <laughs> so there's like a lot of good things about it. He's in his 30s, Kit Kat. Close to my age. So I think maybe 37. He's not a chef, but he can cook very well, apparently. <sighs> no more tears. <laughs> no, no more tears. God. The tear year is gone, my dear. Like, why would you why would I want a boyfriend who just drinks and parties every night with some other fucking woman? Like, you idiot. Ugh. Oh. I would have to go through this all the fucking time. I'm not going through that ever again. I 
I'm promising myself. What did I get out of this for a whole year except for fucking bullshit psychiatric problems? And oh, I got the cl ah, yeah, that's a nice present. Thank you, motorcycle man, for making me see, making me see what I'm missing out on. It's an it yes, Louise. We can stop. I have a new man now. You live your life happy with Didi or go back to Calgary, whatever the fuck you're gonna do. But it won't be with me because I don't have time. My 38 year old sick ass doesn't have time for a fucking man child to go out party with another woman. I, why am I dumb? Oh God. <laughs> Oh, dear motorcycle man, if you're watching this, you can start a channel and get many subs if you play your cards right. You just messaged me. See? This person's messaged me more in my whole life than... Uh, anyway, why am I comparing? I'm going to be comparing for a while because I need to appreciate it. You think he's watching me? Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Hi. I better tell him I made it home, okay? A dead animal would treat a woman better than this. No, pick me. It doesn't have kids. And doesn't really want any. I want to put a hat on to go to bed. It makes me cozy. Remember when I was sleeping? Someone said I look like a giant baby. Now, it looks like I'm like touching myself when I sleep because I put my hand in my pants like this. I don't know why. I have to sleep like that with one hand. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. I can't ride on a motorcycle. I'm pretty sure there's a weight limit. You're mad because you bought his Adonis groceries and he didn't invite you to the club. <laughs> Actually, he did. He did tell me to go over there. And I'm like, I can't. Stop rat facing, Phil. <laughs> you don't like rat face? He never noticed how Nana uses magic hands whenever he cooks. He makes a sort of ta-da gesture. <laughs> Yes, Maddie, it was. It was so nice. Because, EG, this guy is trying to, to be with me. I know you don't believe it, okay? And I'm trying not to say too much because I promise. Well, I mean, I have messages. That's all I have to say. I'm not, I would never show them, but I'm just saying, I guess, okay? So, and his words are saying one thing and his actions are doing another thing and it's pissing me the fuck off. I just know you love Natter more. Well, I mean, I just met this person, but I don't know if it is love. I don't know. I can't, how can it be? How can I love somebody who completely doesn't give a fuck about me? Because if he did, he would be, he didn't even think about me tonight at all. Like, at all. <laughs> like, I'm nothing. I feel like nothing with him. That's the, that's the thing. I feel like I'm a piece of shit. Oh no, well I, I don't, Misha, so, and that's absolutely, 100% not ever gonna happen. Nev nothing from me ever again. Maybe a thumbnail. He invited you. I don't care. There's big, it's not just tonight, you know? Have a normal relationship. Mm. He's so nice. He makes me smile, obviously, like I'm thinking about him and smiling. And I think you guys can tell, like, when I'm into somebody, right? Like, the way I talk about it. But, oh my god, I totally forgot that, like, every guy I talk to, I give them my channel, and then they find out, and then, like, if I talk to another guy, they're gonna be like, what are you doing? Like, you didn't tell me you're talking to other people. <laughs> I sound smitten? Unless you're obsessed with him, you're not into him yet. I don't know, unless you're obsessed with <laughs> That's not, Stabrina, I'm a changed woman. I can't be obsessed. Real, healthy relationships take time. And that's why I'm so not used to this guy. I almost feel like he's not into me. Like the way he's like, took my hand and he's like, I don't pressure people. Like, I'll come over when you're ready. Like, what? Okay. I'm gushing over him already. Healthy people. Yes, exactly. 
I know it's the right thing to do, guys. But I just don't feel like the life is right. Uh, life with Natter is right at all. He's a, I mean, honestly, he should just, he and Didi should just do it. Like, make it official. Honestly. He's already there. He's got all his shit there. You can say you're just friends, whatever. F Nine years from now. <laughs> Nine years from now, you will be singing a lobster, binging a lobster mac and cheese at 5 a.m. when Bizu is off to work. Are you still going to be watching me then? Here's the thing. If I don't have feelings for you, yeah, I'll have a f orgy of 25 people with you. I don't care. I don't Because I don't care who you're screwing. But you have to respect. Anyways, this is the kind of shit he doesn't like people talking about, but too fucking bad. I don't care what you like anymore. You don't care what I like. Why do I give a shit what you like? <sighs> Anyways, who cares? Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about the fact that I'm going to bed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. I know you hate when I burp in your face, but <laughs> it just came out. <laughs> well, yeah, I have power. We weren't in a throuple. Although it probably technically was like that at one point. Oh, let me mess it in. Hold on. <laughs> yep, it's ending soon. Do you feel the end? Do you guys really feel the end? Seriously. What was your income like? Okay, so when I was with BB, my income was like... So it started at zero, right? Because I started my YouTube channel with him. Got her arc ending. Go for BB 2.0. <laughs> Will you change your profile pic if I really seriously please? Oh, those fucking thick thighs. I can't. <laughs> In the face. <laughs> oh. I want to cry. I honestly fucking have PTSD. I don't care what anyone says. You can shame me for it all you want. I need fucking therapy. Anyway. Oh yeah, my income. I think it was like 5,000 bucks a month. Maybe that. I remember being like... I remember making like... All I needed to survive at the time was like $2,000 a month. Because BB was working. So he was splitting the bills with me. 50-50. And he always did. We always split the bills. There was a time, though, when he wasn't allowed. He wasn't able to work. So this is a different situation. Like, this this I didn't mind supporting BB for, like... I had to support him for a few months. He had to, like... He wasn't able to work because something happened with his, like, immigration papers. And, like... It was taking long. Like, I don't know. There was something, like, with the way it was, like, done. I don't know. Anyway his work visa or something. He was on, like, a student visa. He was not a... BB's not a bum grifter. Oh, he wasn't a bum grifter, yeah. No, I met him. He was in university, and... I've always been horrible with money, fuck. I can't order out for a whole month, guys. I have to do it. And then after that, I want to, like, limit my eating out to, like, once a week. For real. Are you that broke? I don't... I wouldn't say I'm broke. Um... My financial health could be better. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to message him back real quick. I don't usually dwell on my bad luck. I just try to move on and make it better as much as I can. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, Potato. Like, I'm going to have a payment plan worked out. Honestly, like, I'm not, like, super, like... I'll just be happy if I can, like, get on a good path. And, like, if I have food to eat, if I can afford to stay at... If I can afford my rent, I can afford my bills, I can afford to take care of my pets. That's all I'm happy about. I can live simple if I need to. Oh yes, come here. I've learned that this past weekend. Yeah, Maria, but I've refunded all the money or it's been t get taken back. There was like a couple people who didn't want to, but it wasn't much. This chair, like, I think it holds up to, like, 450 pounds, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, 
heck can you sleep with the door cracked like that? Because the cats. <laughs> I would be shutting my door. Trust me. Like, sometimes I want time alone to, like, I don't know, play with myself or something. I swear to God, the minute I shut, I try to shut my door so quiet so that Sam won't come up and, uh, and bug me. And the minute I do, <laughs> I get in my bed and I get all comfortable. He fucking knocks at the door. Excuse me. Excuse me. You can't have a lot of sexy time with cats. It's just, it's... <sighs> Should be used. It should be you. I swear, they'll s go up to your ass and sniff it if you're trying to do. Get out of here, chibi use. Move. The llama can't. Nothing can compete with the llama. So I have to keep it. Yeah, I, I did wash the the llama. It looks dirty because of all the makeup, like mascara and stuff that's on it. See, like people don't understand. Like, did a lot for me, so I don't mind helping him out. You know. It's probably, no, I'll probably make it 260. And that's it. Pizza's not getting married. We have enough in common to live together, yeah. That's true. We do have, like, we find things to do together, like Mario and cooking. So this will be good for Pete's content, too, because when we cook tonight, he filmed it. So 400 pounds by 40? That's morbid. I know, Sofa, but I'm just being realistic. Unless I do turn my life around. If I really, really do get healthy, maybe I will. But I've done a lot of damage to my body. Some of it is reversible, yeah. Some of it, probably not. I don't know if it's like 100% re reversible. That's the thing. I think, like, I've probably done it. Like, there's probably enough li damage done to my liver. I don't know. I hope it can. I have a lot of starfishing ears. Onision had an Instagram story asking people questions about you. Really? Uh, I'm a uh, number one fan, apparently. Is it? It's tomorrow, I think, right? The panel? I'm supposed to go. I'm going on a real fucking drama with MFW and CJ. And Onision is apparently going to be on too. <laughs> so. He's a. He's fat phobic. Oh, that'll be interesting then. You freak. I am a freak. I know. Amelia, I love the worm. He'll rate my body. Do you think I care what people think about my body? I'm I, honestly, I'm gonna ask him to rate my body. I'm holy fuck, yeah. I'm gonna like I want him to rate my fupa. Well, that's what people say, Polly, but what if he comes for you? Will you rage at him? I don't know. Maybe. He'll come for me, why? I didn't do anything. I don't know why anyone would come for me. I think you do care, you give every guy fupa disclaimers. <laughs> I should just be unapologetic about the fupa and be like, hey. Oh, hold on, I gotta message him goodnight. Oh my god. Did I get paid? I think I got paid. I got an email. <laughs> Yay! It's fucking Monday, that's why. It's a holiday here, though. Oh, YouTube is American. Our Victoria Day is like your Memorial Day. If I rage at Onision, I'll go viral. No, I won't. What am I gonna rage at him about? I don't have any- oh, What the fuck do you want? I don't- I have no beef with anybody. I'm not gonna make fake drama for fucking money. I hate that shit. I could probably be fucking filthy rich if I just really didn't care. Like, but I just, I guess, I don't know. I guess a little bit, I do. Money. Oh, you can reborrow. <laughs> I could pay off some of them. Accountable beauty. I'm a predator magnet. No, I'm not. A conservatorship. I'm like literally live 24-7. I have no fucking life. Buy us all McGunts. What's the percentage of the payday loans? Payday loans are like fucking 500% interest. 
No, I think they like there's like a limit now. Actually, bum magnet. Yeah, because I'm nice. And I have low self esteem. No, I don't though. Do I? Not anymore. I used to, yeah, probably at one point. Fuck. We love when you're alive. A lot of us live alone and you're really funny. Thank you. It's true though. This is kind of cool. It's like a community. There's no need for us to all be alone at home and not talking to anybody. Fuck that. What kind of boring life is that? Payday loan interest. <laughs> I have some real life friends. I need to contact them back. Ja ja. I have a whole bunch of messages from my real life friends and they're fucking. Actually, I've been wanting to talk about that. So I... maybe I could do like a video, sit down and talk video about like how this has affected my friendships. Because it has. I love my community. Some of you get on my nerves, but oh, I can't wait to have. Let's have an ice mocha tomorrow. I actually feel really. You know when you like start kissing somebody and you don't want to stop? Plain cheeseburgers is my love. With pickles? Aww. Hold on. He's so cute. He just always wants to make sure like I'm okay with what he's talking about or doing. I already want you guys to meet him. That's bad. Consent arc. Very caring. Yes. So far, yeah. He's very attractive, yeah. I'm very attracted to him for sure. Yes, Daphne. He has a good job. He has a career, not a job. He'll be doxxed by the time the stream is over. Roman said on his live, you smell like cheese and eggs. Oh well, at least I know how to cut an onion. Fuck. You gonna ride the bike? No. <laughs> it's not Nan. Yeah, he's out dirty dancing with Dee Dee. Why do you talk to men with receding hairlines and three strands of hair? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not shallow. I don't want to be mean to Roman. I mean, I was attracted to him at one point, right? I messaged, I talked to him on fucking dating site. I mean, Roman is way meaner to you, Chantal. He is, yeah. I'm not even mean to him. Really, I don't talk about him. He probably thinks it's going to get him views or something. Yeah, I picture them, I just, I picture them at the club natter going like this, and Dee Dee going. <laughs> oh my god, are there any reaction channels who can draw them dancing at the club? I would die. Sorry, oh, that's mean. No, uh, Roman, I didn't meet Roman at Adonis. You guys think I like flirted with the deli guy who sliced my basturma? Drinking and doing lines off the toilet seats. Yep. And getting blowies in the stalls. What a love, lovely fucking relationship I want. I'm not, I don't know. I'm just guessing, but... <laughs> Would be doing her typical toddler dance with rat face and toe. <laughs> Glory hole bees. He said he mess. He's a fucking liar. He said he messaged you on Instagram, you replied immediately, and he rejected you because you wanted- He's such a fucking bullshit. Do you- do, Roman, do I have to post the- the fucking Tinder comment- um, plenty of fish conversation? Seriously. He didn't want me to tell people, like, how we met or whatever, because he wants to be private, so I get that. But we totally met on plenty of fish, or one of the- I, it was plenty of fish or Tinder. And we were just talking and then I, we were going to meet up and I decided to pick him up or he wanted me to pick him up at the clinic and I picked him up at the clinic. He was getting antibiotics for his strep throat. And then I went back, we went back to his house and we talked, I met Kiwi, we made out, went live, made out, went home. That was it. Does Roman own a vehicle? No. Well, he has like a moving company or something. I don't know. An aspiring romance killer. Strep throat date. Yeah. I was the taxi. Oh, yeah, I guess. With strep throat. Yeah, I made out with him with strep throat. Yeah. Because he didn't say strep throat like until like later. Like he's, I picked him up at the clinic and I didn't ask him what it was for. And then like later in the night, he said it was strep throat. And I'm like, oh, and I'm thinking like in my head, like we made out. So like, but I didn't get strep throat because he was like, I don't know. 
I had strep snatch. Yeah, I did. Gross. <laughs> it is gross. No, I didn't have strep throat. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, I did. No, I had gono in the throat and strep snatch. <laughs> Ew. Not my fault. I didn't cheat. The things those cats have to smell and see. They love it. They sleep on my dirty underwear. The dirtier and grosser, they have a death wish. Classy. What a year. I know. I wish I could erase it from my life. But I can't. He's messaging me sweet stuff right now. Unlike somebody. Ricotta Barracuda. You're pretty gross, not gonna lie. I know. I've been told by my actual, like, best friends. I've had best friends threaten to go home because I was farting too much. Remember I told you that? <laughs> I thought they were getting a kick out of it. <laughs> I have pillowcases. I'm just too lazy. Yeah, love bombing is not cool. Good relationships take time. You remember when I went to Cuba and I had my Aries nails? Hi, Karen. And the, just the thumbs were remaining and I had to travel on the fucking Sunwing plane. <laughs> With just the thumbs. <laughs> and I had to try to put the goddamn fucking seatbelt extender on. And I couldn't get it right because my thumb, the thumbs <laughs> were in the way. <laughs> I had to get the stewardess who was having a conniption. She was stressed out and like gonna lose her mind. And I'm like, can you please help me put the seatbelt on? I have dreams about the plane. Like when I walked on there, it looked so, I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna fit in this chair. There's no way I'm gonna fit in this chair. He's used to me. He must have been extremely hungover. Oh my God, Aunt Janet. So like when I woke up, my, my alarm didn't go off. I woke up and I'm like, what the fuck? I instantly remember, like, I need, I, did I miss my plane? If I missed my plane, oh my god. Anyway, I was so sick, I made myself throw up because, like, if I didn't, I would be, like, on the plane. I don't want to bar barf on the plane. Oh, it was horrible. Oh, and I had no money left. So I'm dehydrated. It's 30 degrees, and I have to cart around my luggage through airports, through three security checks, guard dogs sniffing me. All with no water, no food, about to die hungover. Oh my god, my credit card wasn't working until I got on the Sunwing plane. Then my credit card was working. And I was like, ma'am, I need a pe I like I need food and water. Like right now. <laughs> I don't even know how I like survived. Like I went to the bathrooms in Cuba at the airport and just like wet my mouth. Because I didn't want to swallow the water. It was fucking horrible. It was bad. <clears throat> when am I going to take another trip? Soon. This I have. I want to go to Kingston and do some beezing there. I'm actually having my mom and stepdad over for dinner. Um, near the end of the month. Get your car fixed. I don't know if I'll be able to. I might have to wait on that for next month. I guess I could get it looked at. I still have my winter tires on. <laughs> I need to get my tires changed over. Yeah, you're right. I need to get my car done. Am I really broke? Don't make them eat in the C. diff villa. I was hoping to clean it up or maybe hire cleaners and get it like really cleaned up and then because like I never had my I never had my stepdad over to the house. C. diff villa. Don't let Nanner cater the dinner. No, I was going to make butter chicken. Like, my stepdad really likes Indian food. And I've been raving about the paneer. So I was going to either order from, like, the really good Indian place or try to make butter chicken. Order. Order and enjoy yourself. Yeah, you're right. That's probably a better idea. It's something like Indian food, it's just better to get a good from a good place. So I think I'll do that. And then, yeah, it'll be nice to have them over. Great time for me to be a jerk again. <laughs> I'll just go back to ignoring you again. Okay. So tomorrow night, I'm do doing this panel. Get them to do Cheats' room. 
His bathroom, oh my god. Fuck. What does his bathroom look like? Whose bathroom? It's actually not that bad. I went in there like a couple days ago to get scissors. There's hair, a lot of hair everywhere, and the toilet's like brown. But that's about it. Just it honestly, like I cleaned his toilet once, I think. It just takes like a a bit of cleaner and a brush. It's not like gross gross like you would think actually. He's not a really dirty person compared to me. All those plastic bags in your room are filled with used wet wipes. There's no bags in my bathroom. No. <clears throat> Cause I I no, I Beside the toilet, there was, like, a bunch of, like, tissues and, like, it was a old, like, empty bags of, like, toilet paper. There was, like, one big bag and then there was, like, another bag that had toilet paper still in it. And clothes. Because I, I usually undress on the toilet while, before getting in the shower. So I just throw my clothes beside the toilet <laughs> sometimes. I would with a hazmat suit on. And yeah, I do blow a lot of money. But I have to catch up this month. I need to pay bet need to read between the lines more in my life. Best advice I was ever given, by the way, Dee Dee. Thank you for that. I guess people who watch me probably watch me a lot. That poor, desperate young man. <laughs> Chantel, can you please... Like, I found your Instagram, finally. Or something like, can you please tell my wife to stop watching you? Because it's ruining our marriage. <laughs> so I get, a, I have this, like, vision of this married couple getting ready, like, getting ready for bed. And then the man is like, you want to have some time tonight, baby? And, and, and the girl's like, wait, CPAP rescue later <laughs> like what i can't en envision how <laughs> i wonder if i got paid <sighs> don't order paneer don't order paneer or nashies oh my god i'm gonna have thirteen thousand dollars to buy nashies i need a conservatorship <laughs> see like when i think see money in my bank account i don't see rent bills i mean i do pay my bills obviously but Actually, my bills just automatically get paid. Like, I set it up for them to, most of them to be automatically paid. But then, like, the rest, I'm like, Nashies? And edibles? And then I'm like, where's my money? <laughs> I'm going to try to be more tolerant with my VIBs. Like, especially if you guys have been following me for a while and you're, you're invested in me. You know, I just... I think I can be too much to handle sometimes. You said I look like a gluten-free cracker and a dumpling. Did I, Misha? What the fuck? You know what, Misha? I love saying gluten-free cracker. So, that was just whatever. I think, was that my Cuba rage? I'm sorry. You are very gorgeous. I've seen what you look like. You need the money. I know. Yeah, I did. I talked to you, Shay, didn't I? She has a Glock. <laughs> I think that's badass. I want a fucking Glock. No, I don't. Of course, you are all gorgeous. Everyone has Glocks in America. Is it almost three? Hold on, I got a message that. Who else can we talk about? Let's talk shit. 2 a.m. talk shit. Who can we talk shit about? I don't hate anybody though. Just harmless talking. Doesn't have to be serious. Where does Natter sleep when he stays at Dee Dee's? In her purple bed, naked. And he gets a boner in the morning. So don't tell me you're not sticking it in between her fucking cheeks. Okay? Yeah, thank you very much. I was just gonna say that, Negs in DC, like, what is going on? I'm so curious. I like fucking relationship drama that's not my own. If they're, like, seriously super in love, that's cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. What's going on? Like, wh aren't they, like, beefing with somebody? What happened? 
He's been sticking it since Christmas. Hmm. Well, he can continue. Next looks like he's permanently stuck in a 90s garage pan. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> every time every time I hear Nirvana, I think of him, actually. He reminds me of, like, that. Like, for sure. Yeah, you're right. But what happens in Lachine stays in Lachine. Sorry, I'm getting some really, like, interesting text messages right now. And I'm just like... Nick does have a great sense of humor, I'll give him that. Yeah, I mean, he's made me laugh. Please don't start this. Don't start what? <laughs> Is it true that Onision looks like Shane Dawson? No, I don't see it. Negs is a white nationalist. What? What does that mean? I don't. I, I honestly have no idea what that means. Like, is he? What's it? What is a nationalist? I don't even know what the fuck that means. Like, you're proud of your country or what? You ended up posting your DMs when you talk. I know. He's part of the KKKK minus a K. <laughs> no, he's not. Really? I know there's like some internet beefs that go really too far, like just insane. People just do insane shit to each other. It's just like, I want to have that guy over. Ugh, like in my bed. I'm cleaning my house tomorrow. We should, I want to clean my house and go grocery shopping and have a night of like wild adventures. I'm planning this. He's from the Caribbean AMC. Chantel is more like a beach ball and FFG is a potato. <laughs> or a peanut. Alright guys. I am though perfectly round. Like if I crunch up, I'm round. Because I'm so short so I have a circumference. <laughs> I'm short and chubby. Short and fat. Alright. Good night. I'm gonna take my clothes off and I'm gonna go to bed, so I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for hanging out.